what's going on everybody it's dj welcome back to comston farm today is harvest day we need to harvest cotton and barley and soybeans we're doing it all so let's just jump right in number one on the list today is the cotton harvest now we need to get to a point where i could just hire a worker on this guy and be done with it now we're picking up right where we left off in the last episode in number 23 if you want to catch up with that Maybe check out the last five minutes or so of that video before jumping back into this, and then come right back. I'll sit here and wait for you. Okay, is he gone? All right. So, today, <laughs> we've got the hot cotton harvest. We're going to get around this, hire a worker, be finished. Then we're going to jump over and get a contract done. Another one. we got two harvested contracts open right now. The other one is going to be barley. Now, that is on a big field field number 13 we did uh, field number 13 i believe in wheat uh, a couple months ago in game at least so that's going to be fun it's huge absolutely massive so it's going to take a while fortunately for us well we've got stuff that can handle it i am going to take i believe it's our big combine harvester so we've got two claws i think i'm going to grab the lexium we're gonna run two headlands we get a bigger header on that should be a little bit quicker i believe we've got one header that's about 10 meters and we've got another one that's about 14 meters total so that's gonna be good for us it would be fun to get that 60 meter header out there would oh i just got an idea oh that's dangerous i will say if you are not using this cotton harvester to run all of your cotton i don't I don't know what you're doing and i don't know what to tell you because this thing is epic this is from agritolno it is their john deere cp 770s or, or cs 7 so yeah cs 770 Ooh, we run a little headline around this sweet uh this thing is just i mean it is as epic as it looks oh we're about to drop another yeah i was afraid of that a worker's gonna hit that for sure <laughs> anyway uh, you guys have got to use this of course i'm using a mod that allows me to go a little bit faster but still you're still getting this taken care of two times faster than normal because you got a 12 meter working with instead of just the standard six meter working with again check it out you 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 have to there's no other option <laughs> and hire worker how we doing? We doing okay? Doing good? I think there's a telephone pole up here, so I might try to babysit this guy a little bit. How many bills is that? So there's three right there. I think we've got another one back there. So that's four. That's 40,000 liters of cotton already. That's pretty insane. I love it. Uh, I don't know if this is solid or not. We're about to find out if we can drive through this because we are in line with it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right, what I'm going to do is run a little little headland around this thing. So check this out. You can actually get this header quite around this and then just zoom. Ah, oh, missed a little bit, didn't I? Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Beep, beep. Got him. Yeah. Yo, I'm definitely down to run a 60-foot header. Uh, I have not used the Duras header yet, and I've been wanting to. So I think today is going to be the perfect excuse to actually run it. Okay, the, the worker should be good from like here. There we go, our worker, sweet. Oh, he's gonna hit a bunch of stuff, isn't he? Sure is. I'm not saying I don't trust myself, nor do I trust the capabilities of the uh, Duras header, uh, but I did bring a header with me, just in case you never you never know when I'm going to mess up, and you should definitely be prepared for that to happen at really any given time. Let's set this up. Let's go ahead and unfold the <laughs> harvester. I'll go ahead and make sure we've got all-wheel drive set, and we'll come about right here. We'll go ahead and set that, and let's find ourselves a big old Dudas header. Where is it? I want to customize this thing with you guys, but I don't know where it is. Ooh. Hello. Yeah. 18.2 meters. It says six miles an hour. We'll make it go faster than that. Uh, let's see. With or without guidelines. Eh, we'll, we'll do without guides. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the uh, Klaus Lexian pickup right there. Let's see, Klaus. 
Nice. Design. Eh, this needs to be cloth. Yeah, cloth white. And then, of course, rim color. We'll go with that cloth red. Now, of course, it says lizard on the side. It doesn't say cloth or whatever. But we can lease this. How much? Nine grand? Was it even worth it at that point? Goodness gracious. The thing I'm most concerned about is, is this combine harvester going to be able to push this and run this? All right, we've got it. Let's turn it on real quick. Do a little bit of a prep work right through here. All right, uh, it. I mean, it's working. <laughs> it's huge, but it's working, man. Uh, okay, all right. We'll see. the The question would be, you know, with the other, the other header, I can run that at twenty six miles an hour. So if this cannot run at twenty six miles an hour. Am I really getting the job done faster? Or am I wasting time? Can't be honest with you, it's cool. But I do feel like I'm ever so slightly wasting time doing it this way. Uh, what? A, you know what, whatever. It's 50% larger than the other one. So as long as I'm going, you know, 50% slower, which I'm going about half the speed right now. I'm not sure if this is worth it. You know what? It's cool. And that's all that matters. It doesn't have to be worth it. Let's go. Oh yeah, now we're rocking. And we are bringing in a couple hundred liters a second. There's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's how many hundred liters we're bringing in for a second. That's insane. Here we go. Well, that's a thousand. That's a thousand. <clears throat> it's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. We are going about 20 miles an hour right now as well. I mean, it's working, man. It's working just fine. I think this this header is just super just dumb and epic at all at the same time. This this thing is crazy. Going through bailing, that's gonna be uh, something else. As a matter of fact, let's let's try our hand at merging this swath hole. <laughs> oh, that's too much. That's too much. That looks worse than the hundred meter header. That I no. Nothing compares to the 100 meter header. That thing was insane. I do miss that. Has anybody made one of those for Farm Sim 22 yet? Let me know. <laughs> uh, I think one question is going to be on this. Do we need to run two runs around this field or is one going to suffice? I think one might suffice. I think we could probably run one headland around this entire thing and be totally fine. Though... I will say, I think maybe doing two would be safer. There's going to be... Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know in this situation. I just, it's too big. Oh, yeah. Bunch of bells up there. We're going to make a whole lot more. One run around the field completed, and we've got about 62,000 liters. What? That's... That's too many, man. I gotta empty this thing before I can continue going further. That's st stupid. Oh, is this gonna reach? Oh. Oh, that reaches just fine. Look at that. I should have bought one of these headers. Nice. All right, we'll put it about right here. We'll leave it just for a second. Because I need, yes, this. Top right corner, AI worker CS770 has now completed their task. You did what? No, you didn't. Not only has he not completed his task, um, as is shown here, he's missed a whole bunch too. Now look here, you little idiot. You actual AI, actual idiot. You, you making me look bad, dude. You making me look real bad in front of people. You need to do your job. Finish your job. Well, look at that. He missed a whole section down here. What was this, his first run down through here? And he was like, you know what? I just don't want to do it. How? And these are slots in the middle of the field. Like, he had to literally go... Is there anything under the field? Because that was the way things were. No? I can't... I can't argue for him. Because he's an idiot. Ah, oh, all right. You know what? Whatever. I'm just going to go through and clean up after his mess. Hey, does your cotton harvester do this? Maybe not this one specifically, but do you, do you have problems with your cotton harvester worker? 
doing their job? Let me know. I'm curious. First person cotton harvesting. Nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I made the glass too dark, so I can't see out of it. I've got this uh, this spot little area right here finished up, and I wanted to touch base with you guys about how <clears throat> how how I'm gonna either straighten up or go forward the, with the way that it is. Let's let's see if we can figure out exactly how we're gonna do that. So, of course, we're in field number one. I have been going back and forth because this bottom edge fits perfect for that. However, the rest of it is pretty angled. So here's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the top and work my way towards the inside of the field because there's less to hit down here once the worker decides to actually be an idiot. So I'm gonna do my best to straighten out this top section. This is not gonna be fun no matter what, but at least it'll get done. So I think we'll come through here. Well, I'm gonna have to turn around a couple times, aren't I? That's not gonna work. Yeah, I got a better idea. I'm gonna go up here <laughs> to this section, and then we're gonna turn it around. Turn around town. All right there. Yep, that'll work. And then put it about like in line with that row right there. Yeah, there we go, and hire a worker. Now I'm going to be able to kind of block this off a little bit better. We'll have a perfect straight line going down the edge. So no matter which direction I'm coming from, I'll be able to hire a worker. Plus, if I'm going against the triangle, so if you're seeing from the screen now going towards the right down, might be a little bit easier to do it that way than vice versa. Also, I've recently watched a video from Driver53 who was talking about the requirements of harvesting contracts and how they are uh, not bugged, but they are not, uh, well, as great as they once was. So just a heads up there. That is why we've been having issues and problems. I was completely unaware, but I, uh, I went back and, yep, sure enough, Giants had said before, harvesting contracts are, um, you know, better than they should be, so enjoy it while it lasts. And, nope, patch 1.3. They nerfed him. I figured out the missing thing. This idiot, every time he goes to unload a bale, skips out on town. They go to drop the bell on the ground, and, uh, and they just stop harvesting. I don't know why, but he keeps moving forward. Maybe it's because I'm going too fast. Maybe there's something with this harvester in particular that's causing the issue i'm not quite sure but all i know is that whenever the bell started to come out of the chamber the harvester just turned itself off and stopped harvesting doesn't do that when you're manually driving it only when you're hiring a worker that is very very different very interesting i'm not used to anything like that Ah, interesting. Well, uh, nonetheless, uh, we're almost done here. You see there's a little bit of artifacting on kind of the right side up there. I don't know if I actually missed anything or if it just says that I missed something. Cotton's weird like that. You never really know if you've missed something or not. I think I will kind of go around in a corner real quick. Check this out. So the artifacting was done like right around here-ish. So we'll come through here and see if see if we harvest any cotton. I'm not seeing any going out. Oh, yep, there we go. We have two liters or three liters. <laughs> All right, so there's our there's our artifacting. Got it. Cool. So now at least I think we can go ahead and hire another worker. We will have to come back through and clean up after them, but you know what? I'm whatever. I'm cool with it. Just get it over with and done. How many bells do we have, by the way? See, four, five, six, seven, eight nine 90,000 liters of cotton not too bad we're gonna make some serious cash off of this one all right now that we've left that guy alone let's come under here and let's get this guy unloaded this won't take too long so i've got to go back through and i'm gonna to have to run at least one more headland around this field and then we're gonna hire the worker in. and then we've got to figure out baling so i guess we can go ahead and prepare the baling guy 
We're going to be using our Massey Ferguson 8740. Love this tractor. I mean, the, the, the Massey 8000 series and 8700 in general has been one of my favorite tractors in Farming Simulator franchise. I used uh, basically this version. I don't think it was an S, but I, I used basically this version back in Farming Simulator 17 on one of my favorite series that I did. That would be my uh, Oakfield series. And then I tried to model this similarly with a series that did Farming Simulator 19. Now, I did play a lot of Oakfield Farm off screen in Farming Simulator 19. I apologize for that. That was back in 2020. <laughs> and uh, basically for the entire lifespan of Farming Simulator 19. I feel so bad for it too, but uh, well, two thirds of its lifespan. I mean, we, we were in COVID lockdown, kind of stunk. So a lot of people stayed in and played video games and I ended up stopping doing Let's Plays altogether. I really enjoyed them and I'm, I'm glad if you guys are watching, if you're watching this far into the video, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, I hope that the way that I play teaches you either how to play or how not to play. And I also hope that it's gotten you to a point where you can enjoy playing Farming Simulator the way that you enjoy it. There's a lot of people that make videos about this game, and um, aside from news and mods and information and stuff like that, and how-tos and stuff, um, a lot of people just play the game. And they play it, you know, whether it be a role play, or maybe they're doing realistic, or maybe they're just inventing some story and, and uh, passing it off as a game mode. Uh, a lot of people ask about those. Uh, I just play the game. I don't have an idea of anything like that. Like, you know what? Here's what we got to do next. So I'm playing the game literally the way I would play it off screen, but I'm talking to you and I'm explaining why I'm doing certain things and how I'm doing certain things. It's not a lot that's changed. Maybe I'm playing a little bit less realistic than I would off screen, believe it or not. But uh, yeah, I have a great time doing this. I enjoy Play Farming Simulator. I enjoy playing it for you guys and I enjoy doing what I'm doing. I'm super grateful that you guys are watching and, and having fun and joining along. All right, with that, back to the grind. All right, let's finish up this little area right here. So soon we're gonna be hiring a worker, getting everything taken care of. I have not checked on the cotton guy, so we should probably do that. Here we are, close to 60,000 liters again for the last best, see 57,000. That's not too bad. This thing is filling up super, super fast. We're gonna have to be very, very careful about how we do things <laughs> do things with this header it's fun but man i've you know what maybe when we get a larger map we'll be able to use this with like a case or john d or something like that the gloss hey, is doing just fine i have going i am starting to think about yeah i'm using a seven six or seventy six hundred so it's a little bit smaller than let's say literally oh most most of the stuff that i have Anyway, nonetheless, let's let's put this over here. Um, we'll probably pick this uh, pick this up at the next uh, episode. It'll be episode what number twenty five, something like that. We'll go ahead and put that there. These guys are good. We can go ahead and turn that off. Yeah, this idiot right here. I'm watching you. Almost done with the harvesting contract right here with the cotton. The thing is going to be selling it. Swing. Uh, it, it's gonna be very fun and interesting trying to pick all these bells up. We've made a few. We've only made a few. Let's go ahead and turn that off and let's go ahead and unload the uh, bell right here. Nice, nice. Got it. Perfect. Oh, is that an 83? Oh, that is. We've got 1,800 liters in here. Huh. Let me figure out how to do take care of this real quick. I'm not gonna tell you what I did, but if you don't tell, I won't tell. Deal? Deal. <laughs> All right, let's get that uh, emptied out. Hey, now we're at uh, zero percent again, and we are done with that. So let's get rid of it. Let's find ourselves some leased items, cotton technology. Go ahead and return that because it was fifty grand. All right, so now I got to figure out how to put bells somewhere so I'm definitely gonna need this I got a trailer over here somewhere we're gonna need that and 
We're gonna need a telehandler. And we are definitely gonna need some more time because I do not have enough time today to take care of all of this. But what we can do is load up, I don't know, two or three. See, uh, see, see how we do here. Go ahead and line this up. Got it. Oh, it's heavy, but not as heavy as it could be, I guess. I got a trailer down here for us waiting. Uh, we're gonna need to make a couple trips. Either that or we're gonna have to load this thing up seriously. I'm not going to auto load with this. I want to try to actually use the telehandler for once because we haven't really done it yet. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's working just fine for this job. Okay. So I think a big question is, is this gonna fit down in there? And the answer is a hundred percent yes. Dude. Hey, yo, let's go and strap Una down. Let's go and pick up one more, make it a little bit of cringe for you guys. Eh, what if we do this in first person? Is this gonna be creepy? Is this crazy? Yeah, a little bit. I'm, I'm not gonna continue doing this in first person, but I don't know, it might be good to, to at least try it. <laughs> this thing bounces around a lot more than I thought I did. All right, I don't, I don't know exactly where we, where we are. Nope, we're not there yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Well, I tried, and that's really all that matters. And that's all we've got time for today. Make sure you guys join in on the next episode, number 25. That's right, 25 episodes. We're having a great time right now in Calmston Farm, but we're only going through episode number 30. So, not going to be here forever. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Nonetheless, if you did, do all the things that YouTube wants you to do. Like, subscribe, share, comment, all the good stuff. I think it says it at the bottom of the screen. So do all those things, and see you tomorrow. Peace.